Hey guys, Ollie here. How to stop a mask from fogging up. Real simple, real easy. Okay guys, so um, if you're like me and you like filming your diving, um, you've either got a mask like this um, with a GoPro mount on it, um, where the case attaches and whatnot, um, or you've got a gun mount as such. This is a Rob Allen GoPro mount um, that attaches on the gun barrel. Um, as such, or you've got like a, a head strap that goes over your wetsuit or under your wetsuit hood. Um, I prefer this, you just get a bit of a, I don't know, you get better POV um, point of view and yeah I just think you get more natural footage. If you've got a mask, um, no doubt you've had problems with fogging, everyone has, um, and the main reason behind the fogging is actually new masks. They tend to be the worst as they come out of the factory. This is a brand new mask um, with like a silicon residue kind of um, some sort of grime. It's just from factory, from the moulds, everything. So you've just got to get that, that residue off the lens, um, off the inside of the lens. An older mask like mine, um, they can actually just wear in over time and that, that fogging will disappear. But but if you've got a, a new mask and you're going on a drive trip or just want a mask that is not going to fog, um, yeah, you need to prepare it. Um, so there's two tricks. There's nothing worse than the, a mask that's fogging or leaking. So once you've got a mask that doesn't leak, um, we need to prepare it for diving um, so it doesn't fog up. So get our new mask. Um, good quality mask should have uh, tempered glass. Um, it should say it on there, on the lens, you can see that, it's a tempered, or well, there might just be a T for tempered. Um, so make sure you remove any of these bits of plastic off the package. Grab a lighter, um, blow torch, anything. So what we're going to do is burn off the inside of the lens, okay? Again, make sure it's tempered glass, if it's plastic, you're going to um, have to buy another mask. So. Um, Silicon doesn't mount or burn until a very high temperature, so don't be too worried about you know getting a bit of fire on there. It's not going to melt. Okay, so you just want to hold that lighter um, about a centimeter or two under the lens. We'll try and pick this up on the camera um, and just see it. That circle, just burning that stuff off on the inside. So what you want to do is just work it out work it out to the edges yeah if it go, if you hold it too close blacken up don't worry it's just residue You're not going to mount the glass with a a big lighter you know um, so just work that out to the edges don't be too worried about burning your mask Okay, do that to the other lens. This is the first part of it, okay? Um, second part is cleaning it with toothpaste, which we'll get to. And this isn't a foolproof measure, it's just a good start. Um, it'll still take a few dives to work, work it in, um, your mask, and after a couple of dives it just won't fog up. Um, I've never had issues after doing this. Cool, so pretty well worked it out to the edge see there's nothing happening now cool that's the first step done second step toothpaste i've got some colgate cavity protection doesn't matter something not too abrasive not too um smooth just something in the middle anything really um i've heard guys use sand and um, wouldn't recommend that <laughs> okay so inside the lens put a good squirt in there Whatever. we're gonna give it a good clean after and you just want to get your finger in there and really rub it in okay get right into the corners do that on each lens for three to five minutes I'm not gonna do that right now right three to five minutes on each lens watch a movie watch some TV get that done give that a good clean out underwater um, do that twice and really I've, I've done that to all my new masks and never had an issue with fogging up after that. Um, do the usual spit in the mask, rub it in and dunk it under the water, 
on the head and you'll have no issues eh? Um, but yeah, not 100% foolproof, but I've found that's a really, really good method. So anyways, if you're having issues with the new mask or maybe you've been using it for a while, just try that and it might change your life. Cheers.